Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Robert Kaufman Fabrics, quality fabrics for quilting. Sulky, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. And The Warm Company, inspiring products for creative people. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. I'm Mary-Kate Carpetris, and today I'm here with our guest Patrick Lowes as part of our special 12-part series with him. And today we're going to be talking about fusible applique, right? The basics of fusible, fusible applique. applique. Okay. Yeah, I, that's most of what I do right. would be applique, and I would say fusible applique is 99.9% .9 of that. So um, I am lucky to have a great product to work with, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the Warm Company, I use their light steam scene, right. too. Um, this is the pattern that um, we're, we're just going to trace a template from this pattern. This one's called Trim the Table uh, from my pattern line. And we're going to trace the template onto the steam seam two mm -hmm. and then fuse it onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you those steps. What we have here is in the, inside the pattern, the guts of the pattern, mm -hmm. we've got the templates. And all of the patterns that I design, the templates are full size. They're at 100%, you don't have to go to your copy shop and, mm -hmm. and blow them up or anything like that. Um, and the other thing about them is I've already reversed them because when you trace onto the paper side of the fusible adhesive, you're getting the reverse image right. by the time you iron it onto the back of your fabric. So these are all reversed for you. You don't even have to do any thinking along those okay. lines at all. So I'm gonna set this aside. Okay. Yeah, we can put it up there. Take it, sure. Um, the, the light steam seam 2 is my favorite because it's a lighter weight mm -hmm. fusible adhesive. Steam seam is a great adhesive also, but it's more for heavy duty right. kind of uh, fusing. We don't need that for this. We're, uh, like, say this project might be a placemat or a table runner. Um, light steam seam 2 is a light enough fusible adhesive that you can actually layer your appliques one on top of the other without getting too bulky mm -hmm. and stiff. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I am going to show you how to window uh, the fusible okay. applique so that we can put as many layers as you want on top of each other, but the fusible adhesive is actually only around the edge of the applique. Oh, great. So let's, uh, this is what the sheets look like. This is just uh, a sheet of uh, the steam seam 2. Now it has uh, paper on both sides, right. and you're going to need to remove one of the papers before the fusing. But let's, uh, before we do that, I'm going to trace here. Okay. So this is the template, and we're going to use this star, and I'm going to lay this on top of it. I'm going to be a little more economical about it here. That's nice. You don't even need a light box. Oh, no, because no. Because it shows right I, I make sure that on, on my patterns, I the, the cutting line or tracing line is dark enough nice. that you really mm -hmm. don't need to. And the, the paper on the fusible is great, too, for that. So let's just trace this star. And I use a Sharpie marker because if you're using... Oh, I'm not doing the best job of tracing, but uh, I use a Sharpie marker because it when you're tracing a lot of pieces across this uh, piece of paper, if you rub your hand over pencil... I've it, done that. Yeah, it's yeah. all over you or it's all over the, the fabric that you're using and you don't want that. So uh, just go ahead and, and use a Sharpie marker or something permanent and then allow it to dry so that you can, you know... So it doesn't get on you your fabric. smear it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got the pattern traced. Let's just set these aside mm -hmm. for now. Now the thing with... Um, windowing fusible applique. We're going to cut this template out, but we're going to roughly cut it, maybe an eighth of an okay. inch outside the line. And I, I didn't leave quite enough on that edge, I guess, but, but it's okay. So we're going to cut roughly. Okay, so the important thing here then, when, when you're cutting this out, is we're going to remove the center of the fusible um, adhesive. Okay. And again, this doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly cut. I just snip into it like this, um, and then we're going to cut about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, inside of that traced line. Let's see. This is how you help reduce that. Yep. You know, the, the bulk and, the, and, and the it gets layers. yeah, mm -hmm. it gets kind of stiff if you have too many layers. Right. I, again, with the the steam seam too, it's not um, really that much of a problem. It, it doesn't build up too heavily. Um, and on a, a placemat or a table runner or, or even something that's hanging on a wall or on a door, door mm -hmm. banner, 
that that stiffness is kind of good. It adds body right. to the piece so that it's not, you know, if you've got a table runner sitting on a table, you want it to lay flat. Mm -hmm. So that helps. This is a great technique too for actual quilts that you want to use. You know, oh yeah, baby pattern. quilts. It's really exactly. important because you want those to stay soft, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so there we've just removed the center um, of the, the fusible mm -hmm. adhesive. Then we're going to iron this onto the wrong side mm -hmm. of the fabric. And to do that, we need to remove the paper backing. So the adhesive actually floats between the two layers right. of paper. It's not adhere, adhered to one uh, side or the other. And once you get that pulled apart, you can see that the, the fusible is on one side of the mm -hmm. paper. We want it to you stay there. It yeah. So you just carefully pull that apart. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to lay that fusible side down on the wrong side of the fabric. And then I'm just going to take it over here and iron it. And you do want to use some steam. Okay, so we've got that fused to the wrong side of the fabric. Mm -hmm. And now we just need to cut this out exactly on the line to okay. have our star applique. But we've already got one cut right. out there, so let me... So this is what our, our placemat might look like. We've got two stars here already finished. Mm -hmm. Here's the one that you can see that we still need to peel the, the paper mm -hmm. backing from. So I'll just do that. And that's just right around the edges. Yeah, and it's, it's a small piece. Mm -hmm. And honestly, this is a good thing. It's getting a little bit stuck, so I can kind of show you this. If it does do that, you, all you have to do is give a little tear at the edge, and it breaks that paper backing. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got then one more finished star applique. I think I'll put that so that all the stars are down in the lower left corner. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and fuse those. Sounds like the iron's ready. And again, I use a lot of, that was the sprayer, I use a lot of steam. Okay. And are you applying like pressure? Are you like pressing down or are you just oh, like no. gliding it no. kind of lightly? You, you don't need to. The, letting the iron do the work. It, yeah, and it fuses pretty quickly too, so. All right, so there is there our, our finished placemat top. All the appliques are fused on. Yeah, sure. And now we, all we have to do is uh, finish those in the method of our choice, either a buttonhole stitch mm -hmm. or uh, satin stitch. I would on a placemat or something that's going to be washed often, I would finish the edges. Okay. I wouldn't do uh, raw edges on that. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with finishing in, a, in another episode. Okay, that sounds great. Well, yeah, we're going to be doing a satin stitch in another mm -hmm. episode. So be sure to visit uh, quiltersnewsletter.com for more episodes with Patrick and other episodes on quilting in general. Thanks so much. Bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the quilters community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Robert Kaufman Fabrics, quality fabrics for quilting. Sulky, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. And The Warm Company, inspiring products for creative people.